Hey guys, welcome back to an guys and girls like us. Welcome back to another cast. Uh, I'm gonna have Johnny with me in a second, but we're gonna be casting uh, Bill versus Anemone. So we have a lion versus scorpion. Uh, I really, I really am excited to cast this game because a lot of people are saying that to beat the scorpion menace, lion is the way. So we'll see. So Anemone here is playing what looks to be ex exactly or close to a copy of what Chris. Um, Sir Largeness's deck is, and so it's a mono no ORA uh, control deck basically, and you're looking to basically control the board for a long time and then score easy breaks with unassuming Yojimbos and Kachiko. Um, and then we have, or or we can win through Dishonor is another another way, although it'll be dis hard to Dishonor Lion. So Bill's list here, Bill is playing, not playing Mia Satoshi, so he's playing. Two Death Seeker, two Tutori, two Gifted Tactician, as many one drops as he can find, two Bayona, uh, one Magistrate, one Ujiaki, and his Dragon Splash, three Let Go, three Fury, and then he's got the uh, six Fantanas. Uh, the Let Go's are going to be really bad in this matchup as Anemone only has two Cloud the Mines. So you like want to see one, but not more than one, because you, you want to let go the first one. Yes, Bill's, Bill's deck list is called What is Life? Who knows what life is? Um, we see only two Ready for Battles, which is really interesting. Ready for Battle, I think, is one of the best cards for Lion, so I'm very unsure why Bill's not playing three. Uh, Ready for Battle is really insane in this matchup against Fury and uh, uh, Fate Worse Than Death. But we'll see. Yeah, I think that means Giant Splash. Yeah, two Let Go, two Calling in Favors. And so, Ageless Chrome's really good in this matchup. Two Master of the Spear could be interesting. Bill does have six Send Home effects and two Routes, two Strength in Numbers, and two Master of the Spear. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to let the players know that, that I'm ready. Uh, as soon as Johnny's ready, I'll call him. So Bill pointing out, don't get revenge too hard. Uh, looks, I think Bill beat Anemone in groups. So this is a rematch. Bill has chosen to go second. And I'm mean, saying this matchup, this match super stresses me out, so it shouldn't be too incredible. GLHF. Bill Mulligan's one from Dynasty. Uh, and I'm gonna keep all from Dynasty. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think audio is fine, right? Ch uh, Shane, see if your thing is muted. Alright, so we see Bill buys Berserker 1, Samurai 1, and then gets first pass. Uh, Anemone actually buys out a large Dynasty board, which is very different than what we normally see. Um, Liar 0, Rumor Monger 0, and then we see Soshi with 1. And... Let's see, so we're going to see a Poketech first. We see his pilgrimage. So Anemone has no way to buff this conflict, so Bill does not have to defend. Anemone would have to play a conflict character here. And yep, we see we see nothing, and that is the problem with playing no buffs. 
you have no threat, and so Bill just doesn't have to play anything. Alright, I'm getting Johnny in here. Uh, we see the advantage here of Pilgrimage over Shameful Display, and having Pilgrimage here uh, really saved him from having to commit a character. Hey, what's up, Johnny? How's it going? Good, how about you, man? Uh, Alright, so the audience can hear you. As soon as you get in the game, you can uh, bless us with your lovely voice. We're getting a lot of compliments for that on this side. <laughs> it's a, it's an American thing, right? Like, uh, um, American American people love British accents. It looks like I landed on my feet then. Cool, so what's going on? We've so, got the of the guns. this is turn one. Uh, Anemone bought out a pretty large board. Bill bought only two characters and got first pass going second. So, Bill runs into meditations here on a military attack. Um, no one commits anything and Bill just takes the victory just grabbing that earth ring. It's like an even trade because Anemone gets to kill the Berserker. Oh shit, uh, I got my music on. Ha! So... Turn, turn the music off. Uh, <laughs> I completely forgot that I had music on because I was, I was, when I solo cast, I just mute my, my desktop audio. <laughs> I mute my desktop audio so I can listen to music while casting, otherwise it gets really, really dull with no sound. Yeah, I can imagine that. So... Anemone, uh, no characters that can attack? Yeah, so Anemone actually just can't attack, right? Because she only has the Soshi. Um, from what I'm aware of, I was told Anemone is a girl, so I'm just going to refer, just use that. Uh, if if it needs to be corrected later, I will. But it's just easier It's just easier for language to use, to use descriptive pronouns. I don't think anyone's gonna be grudgy that, my friend. L look, oh. we're in the we're the, the the day and age that we live in. You'll be you'd be surprised. Believe me. <laughs> All um, right. So Bill does a political attack here. Hits shameful display. He's just scouting around right now. Um, it does give it does give an a uh, third fate. Not assuming Jimbo to Earth Ring conflict claim. Oh, and then yeah, and then we see we see Soshi giving minus to the samurai. So unless Bill has. Anything here, he won't be able to to get a break, which I think is fine. I think Bill is totally fine. Oh, we see Master of the Spear. This is a little risky, though. Yeah, he, he's just gonna honor the Steadfast Samurai and dishonor the Master of the Spear. So we're just gonna see. Oh, but we see Meek Informant. I'm not sure I would have played the Master of the Spear there. Uh, felt slightly premature to me. Alright, so but... Bill's hand is Assassination, Let Go, Route, Fan, Way of the Lion, Court Games, Second Master of the Spear, Another Route, and an Assassination. Yeah, Megan Foreman here doesn't do anything. Master of the Spear just sends it home. So, uh, so now you shameful to honor dishonor? And yeah, probably... you should honor the samurai and dishonor the spear. But an enemy passes, maybe not, not aware of that interaction. So now we'll see the fan come down. Indeed, it does. Shameful display is breaking. Yes. Some sort of horrible trick an enemy has. Maybe a fury. Oh, or okay. So another. Uh, well, the problem with playing these conflict characters is that she, uh, that she knows Bill has these. Um. Yeah, yeah, Rourke. I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't joking. Like I wasn't saying it in, in just. I was literally told that Anemone is a girl, and so that's that's just why why I'm I'm saying she. Um, if I'm corrected, I I'm gonna apologize. Obviously, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad or feel uncomfortable. It's just easier for in a casting sense for me to do that. So we see Bill attempting assassination on the uh, Adept of Shadows. So we see an forged edict there. Yeah, so I'm at clutch. Uh, n not really, right? So shameful at comes out here, but we're just gonna see route. We're gonna see route from Bill here. Oh, he doesn't. Even, so he uses Lion Stronghold to go back up to three, and then we're gonna see we're gonna see route here to send this uh, adept home. Because an enemy is out of conflicts, uh, she'll not be able to make a second one with this adept. I just actually realized that Bill's currently contesting the airing, so that assassination, losing that three on to assassination was not quite I think, bad. I think assassinating first is correct over playing route. It doesn't cost you a fate. It puts you lower on honor, which is actually which is reasonable in this matchup, and it forces an e it forces the adept to either die like permanently or for an edict to come out. 
but you don't really want that adept dying because it's a reusable character. Yeah, so. exactly. That was, that was well well baited. So Bill plays court games first. Oh, route. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mitten's pointing out that um that route is greater than. I always forget that everything is not lion's pride baller. No, he can't. Mittens, uh, R young rumor monger coming out here to stop that court, court games. Young rumor monger being um, being really insane. We see wave the line on master of the spear. Okay, so now he's in route range. Yeah, he also might just be breaking. So it's two. So he goes up to four minus one to three. Up four, five, six. It's six to two right now. It should be. Oh no! But then we had Soshi minus. And there's the route. Okay. So yeah, three to zero, and so Bill breaks. Bill breaks shameful on turn one, uh, resolves the air ring. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't go for fire. Oh, it is political. Thank you, Soldier Token, for pointing that out. I just saw all these military buffs coming out, and I was losing my mind. <laughs> yeah, good point. I was just like, I was less. I just saw so many military buffs. I'm just like, it's gotta be military, right? See, I mean, this the is... both players go into the next round uh, with ten honor. Uh, Bill has a slight hand disadvantage, but he is up a break, and his board is superior. Um, so we see a Gunso buys out, flips a Death Seeker. We might just see Gunso. We might just see the, the second Gunso here. Yeah, he could just buy out a board of uh, of no faded characters and go after meditations if he wanted. move these deck lists over and then let me, let me I'll uh, send you the deck lists Johnny so, so if you have any if you want to take a look I'm, I'm literally pouring a copy so bear with me listeners at home yeah you're, you're good uh, man fantastic thanks for sending guys over right there all right so who gets who got the first pass was a was a bill Yes, Bill, get, Bill gets first pass. He does have a second Master of the Spear in his hand, so uh, passing first with a lot of fate isn't that big of a deal. Nope. Yep. So we see the Gunsa going in at Meditations. We're going to see Fire. Yep, Military Fire. Aggressively, Bill, here. He's definitely not wasting any time. What? Uh, let's see what characters Anemone can get with this actress. So we have a Berserker, a uh, Gifted Tactician, and a Stubfast Samurai. If she can somehow get uh, up 5 honor on Bill, she'd be able to keep the Steadfast Samurai, which would be pretty sick. Alright, so we see we see a charge on Yunako here, uh, being reduced by City of Lies, so it doesn't cost any fate. Pretty standard play, I think, from Scorpions. Every time I see Yunako, I just expect a charge. Same. Uh, it looks like an anime is on some version of uh, Chris Portoff's deck. Yeah, it looks like it's actually it just actually is Chris's deck. Maybe maybe get plus or minus a card. Yeah, and there's only one favored niece, which is interesting. Um, fairly standard looking lion dragon deck there. Uh, um, Bill does have extra MOTS. Oh, Master of the Spear. Yeah, we can see Master of the Spear here. Um, Master of the Spear is uh, susceptible to Fate Worse Than Death here. So if you play Master of the Spear and it gets Fate Worse Than Death, you actually, it's a pretty huge tempo swing. Because you invest a lot of Fate and then your opponent wins wins the conflict. Dishonors you. Like, you, you don't want your Gunsaw to get Dishonored here either. Bill okay. is playing a copy. Wow, plays it with three Fate play to be honest because the worst thing that can happen is investing in a character with two fate and then it gets fate worse than death and void ring yeah that's um, fair although there's already a juicy target for the void ring with this other master of the spear that is true oh so, i mean had he played him oh fate, yeah mittens he, points yeah. out mittens points out that if he plays it with fate meditations can be used so we could see meditations into fate worse than death here and that would actually just be horrific that would that would cause yeah. bill to fate on this Very conflict good. So, mm -hmm. does get... an enemy have it? Well, I, I think she should use meditations first, right? You should you should always use meditations as your first action to see what build. Oh wait, the problem is she can't do that because if uh, then Master of the Spear will send Yunako home. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you use med yeah, if you use meditations, master will kick, 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 uh, kick you knock out. I don't even know if that yeah. So there's fate worse than death. Not surprised. Oh, yeah, fate worse than death. Okay, so he got off. He got off. Does Bill have a ready for battle? If Bill has a ready for battle, it's actually not bad. It doesn't look like he does. The uh, card will still be blanked, but it will be un un untapped, so I can attack again or defend. That was a good play by Bill there. He sort of was like daring, daring her to, uh, to play it. You know, baiting it out of the hand. And, um... Yeah, I mean, look, look, she's got three. You got, you're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to fight through them. Not, it's not like he's gonna be able to uh, cancel them. Right so we see, a, we see a bonsai here on Gunso. Now, if Anemone doesn't buff Yunako, we could see another route here for a break. Yeah, and no policy debate in Bill's deck, so he has no choice. I think Anemone more. is playing two. Yeah. Yeah, two. Probably just put the wall head first into these fate worse than death until they're all gone. Oh yeah, we have Soshi activation too. So we could we could use Soshi activation to Oh, but Bill just takes the win actually. So we see we see Gunso getting honored, we see Master of the Spear getting re honored with the firing, and then we see the keeper coming out. The lion the lion board begins to grow. So, Actress is going to go in here, probably a political attack. Does Master of the Spear have to be attacking? Yes, while this character is attacking. So, we see uh, Anemone hits Art of War, political water. To Wait, he'll build? Let this get through? Maybe? the pro So, the problem with him letting it through is that Yunako gets to stand? Take in that sense. So uh, to point out, meditations did not get used. So Bill should not. Bill will not go back there this round because uh, all his characters have fate still. The, also, the problem with defending this is it's kind of hard against the Soshi. Yeah. So Bill just Bill just takes the loss, draws his cards, and he's gonna let Yunako stand. It's fair. Strong position this turn. So Bill Bill is in good position to get a second break here. He really wants to get a second break. We could, he's dead. I'm assuming he's going to challenge Earthring, because the problem... He might challenge Void. There's an argument to challenge Void to deny your opponent from challenging it. Because Bill's board is pretty susceptible to a Void Ring here. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think it's the worst choice here. So um, Bill runs into Pilgrimage. And he's unfortunately hit Pilgrimage. Oh, it's a political skill of five. Well, so Soshi Activation can just make it three. And so Bill would need another fan. What, uh, is that actress going to hit anything juicy at the minute? No, not uh, really. Gifted Tactician. So you can pull a Gifted Tactician, draw a card if you win a mill conflict with the Yunako, which is pretty feasible. In this particular conflict, there's no... Oh, not, not in this conflict. No, no, no. We're talking about Lion here. No, no strange... No venerable historians or cool things for you to pull out. Okay, so let go, let's go a fan, and another one comes straight back on. So okay. she gives okay. minus. So this Rob. signifies that Anemone does not have any more uh, attachment control. More conservative? Or maybe that first one was a misplay? Who knows? No, I think Leko is definitely correct. I think you want to let go first. Um, cool. So it's one on a loss for unopposed. And no ring effect, which cancels it. And so uh, Anemone wants to find Feaster Famine here. Absolutely wants to find Feaster Famine. Would win? Would you have just? Would you have? So, would you have Soshied first, instead of uh, fanning or uh, let going? I mean, my general thought is it's better to use dynasty actions before spending cards. I mean, maybe that's incorrect. But well, that's so the way I look at it is that um, Soshi can be used on your military attack to guarantee you your card draw. I don't. I, I. I. don't think it's that bad to spend a card when you can. When you can almost get a break here with with your Soshi on offense. You know what I mean. So you can use Soshi on your on the mill attack and and get a break because she's she's gonna pull gifted tactician here with this uh, with this uh, actress. Bill not defend. Yeah, Bill does not defend. So he, so she's gonna break and then she's gonna steal back with the scorpion stronghold. I'm not sure why he didn't break there. Uh, didn't defend. Is it just because he had no way of stopping the break, or 
we know probably him. because there's no way to stop the break. So he has no way to stop the break, and then this way we'll guarantee him favor. Getting him another card. So, Bill, Bill loses one for unopposed. Anemone draws a card from Gifted Tactician. Bill fires off before the throne, and now Anem Anemone can use the Stronghold to steal back to 8-8. Eight to eight. And that feels like... And that was a Void Ring, which is why I think I think Bill should have challenged Void, just to deny it. So he would have had this Master of the Spear for one more turn. Yeah, especially as he ended up walking to Pilgrimage. Um... Oh, the we, see stand, we see stand your ground being used on a Kodo Gunso, which is really which is a really nice tempo play. So Gunso's gonna be around for one more turn. Um two breaks to one. Um how do you feel about before the throne? I'm not particularly mad on that point. I personally don't like it, but I can see I can see it having uses. Um it's not I don't think it's particularly good. Ooh, so this is a pretty sweet play. So we can see Bill buy out any any one of these two Bushi and then play Bayona because he flipped. He does have three Bushi right now. Flips uh, Death that Seeker. Haughty Magistrate's always a, a pretty threatening card as well. Uh, um, this this one is implacable. Haughty is the um, Phoenix one. I might have said implacable. Um, so when Emony passes, we see Bayona triggers. Bill passes, so... Bill bids one, Anemone bids five. Anemone steals, so we're gonna see we're gonna see card advantage being so. There's a diminishing returns to card advantage. At a certain point, all your cards become redundant. Where having three more cards than your opponent when he comes to fourteen to eleven is kind of irrelevant. It's like gold advantage in MOBAs, where as the game goes later and later, gold advantage means less and less because everyone has items. And so, Anemone's first player with Heroe. Um, you could send Heroe in and just grab the Fate off the ring and then pull Master of the Spear into a conflict. Just so Master of the Spear can't be used on offense. So, so she's hitting... Wait, this is Feast or Famine. She should know this is Feast or Famine. If do you just let it break? It's your third problem. Well, yeah, you you absolutely down. I absolutely don't defend this. Three breaks down and open up the stronghold. I yeah I, I I would I think the tempo I think the tempo thing is too large to to not let this break. I think you let this break and then you put two on a gunso. Question is, can Bill manage two breaks of his own in one turn? I think so. I mean, Lion Lion's pretty strong. He might not be able to get the political, but he could get the military. What is? Let's see what a stronghold is. It is... Is it Ancestral or Rally? Oh, it can't be Rally. He's playing Art of War, so it is a Earth Province. It will be Ancestral Lands. Yeah, I think I think Bill can defend against Ancestral Lands. Mittens, he has to pull in... Yeah, he has to pull in Bayona specifically um, to prevent the break. Why would Bill... Oh, no, no, he has Favor. Bill has Favor? So he could have pulled. Uh, she could have pulled in a uh, an Akoto Gunso. Yeah, you could pull in a Koto Gunso, and then Bill would not be or Bill. She would not be breaking, and Bill would get a dis, uh, dishonored Gunso out of that. I think it might be better. Okay, so we see Route coming in, uh, but we see a Forge Edict to cancel. But now she's losing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, SA the Schmooze, uh, it is Ancestral Lands, so without something like Shoju or Kachiko, it is very hard for Scorpion to break Ancestral Lands. We see, uh, for shame, bowing, uh, her name, Bion uh, Biona, but ready for battle. Yep, ready for battle is pretty sick. So we see a second for shame, uh, we're gonna see a second ready for battle. Bill does take the bow. Does he have it? Does not look like he has it. He has it? Okay. Does he have? Does Bill have anything else here? Because cur currently, Anemone is not breaking. Gonna get the ring effect, and going to uh, dishonor. Oh, Bill defended. I see. Bill defended with Bayona, and now we see action of pulling the Gunso in. Okay. 
So current, so this is a really good turn for an enemy if this conflict goes through. Gonna dishonor a Bayona, gonna dishonor the Gunso due to pride, and then gonna use the water ring to bow the other Gunso. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate turn of events. And if uh, if, if an enemy has one of their, their three Furies in hands now, that means Bill's attempt. Bill Bill has Furies too. Bill could Fury here. Oh no, Bill cannot Fury. Um, th all, all provinces have been revealed. Been revealed, so he is, his Fury is offline right now. But, no, um, no, 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 yeah, yeah, Soldier Token pointing out, Bayona's not going to get dishonored. I, I thought that Bayona got pulled. Um, Bayona did not get pulled, so so uh, she, she Bayona won't get dishonored. Uh, would you say okay. Angel's Crone coming in, though? I think maybe you want to play Angel's Crone sooner? I don't know. <laughs> that was the sort of card you want to sort of play. Yeah, not really, right? So if you play Angel's Crone, your opponent pays one to play for shame, and then you bow and can't play ready for battle? I, I think it's better to play after you have no more actions. So, like, Bill's basically saying, I have nothing else I'm going to play other than maybe attachments. Anemone passes. Yeah, Bill, Bill wins with the crone here, and so we get an honor an honor token onto a Kodogun, so... Better than it becoming dishonored? Yeah, my friend calls uh, pride characters when they get uh, when they get dishonored. He's like, oh man, this character's on tilt now. <laughs> All right, so we see a military attack, most likely. Military void, maybe? You could do earth. Earth void. You could do fire to honor Bayona. Oh, doing air. Okay. He's going to think it's going to get... An... I don't think he's going to get unopposed. I think we'll see a conflict character here. Uh, spe I actually think we ha we know that Anemone has a ma um, an Adept adapt of Shadows. But Anemone might just take the break here and not... Oh, we see another charge on Yunako. Okay. Being reduced by City of Lies. So, Bill's currently winning. Yunako switches Okoto Gunso. So, we're 4-4 four to four right now. Passes. Is Anemone going to play a bon? Wait, does Anemone play Bonsai? She does not. So, no Bonsais. So, there's no way for Anemone to get, to get any higher. Yeah, I think Bill's just going to take the air ring here. It, see, it feels like if he... If he carries on investing into it, then yeah, see, I was going to say, um, I would expect an enemy to use Fury in this conflict. Okay, so now Bill can play Bonsai if he has it, but he does not, and so Anemone wins, dishonors the Gunzo via Pride, Gunzo on tilt. So those Gunzos are currently yin yang each other. Yeah, yeah, out. it's actually interesting, uh, a lot of people don't know this, I, I learned this the hard way, um, not everything dies at the same time. Not everything dies at the same time, and so you, if you, say, say Bill is at one honor here, if he acts, if he clicks the gun so that's dishonored first, he just dies before, because everything okay. dies one at a time. Okay, so make sure you uh, take your honored characters out before you're dishonored. Yeah, exactly, I, I learned that the hard way, I, uh, I didn't, I, th I thought it was magic where everything just died at the same time. So, Bill, Bill reveals, uh, secret cache here. Uh, doesn't Amini have another uh, Fury here? Oh, it wouldn't do anything. It's political attack, and so uh, Bill has political favor. Yeah, I mean, no real good options for Bill to attack into at this point. Um, so I suppose that makes sense attacking Secret. It's Cash a reveal too, so it does it does uh it does mean Fury can't be used on Bayona and any of the three of the three Glory characters. So Bill's setting up the firing for next turn to have a fate and his keeper in the graveyard, so he can. Yep. So Anemone d does not have another fury, did not find one with the secret cache, loses an honor for undefended or yeah unopposed, and we see voiding off hero a. All right. So this is this is Bill. This is the turn Bill needs to get something done. So Bill Mulligans okay. both the magistrate and the death seeker, flips double general berserker. Which is pretty strong. We see on Anemone's side, we see the third, the third Yunako, and we see a Shoju. I wonder if Anemone will buy Shoju here to try and go for, to try and go for the last break. Because you could just solo attack with Shoju and get a break pretty easily. We could see Yunako actually being bought also. But Anemone just passes. This almost signifies Kachiko and or a Fate Worse Than Death. Is that two charges from an enemy now? Yes. Yeah. So she is running three. There is a chance. You could you could have the third right because she, she's gonna draw maybe maybe she bids one this turn, 
So she'll have seen uh, slightly over half her deck. Like, I think it's pretty reasonable to... I mean, I, I think two is reasonable to expect. The third one might be, like, a lot less, you know, less percentage, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, bids one, and bids two. two. So, Anemone hovering around five honor goes back up to six. We're, we're going to see, uh, we have a dishonor character leaving for Anemone, so going to have to keep that in mind. We're, gonna, we're almost assuredly going to see Bill do military fire for his first attack. I'd say so. You could do military fire, and you could send. You could even send the Ageless Crone in on military if you want. You could send the entire. You could send your whole your whole team. You do military fire, whole team at pilgrimage. He's got a charge. Then one of those honor generals is coming as well. Which oh, I'm I almost sure. assure. I almost. I, I almost guarantee Bill has at least. Bill's playing three I, I, charges. He hasn't played one yet. Bill. Bill has a charge. We also see a for greater glory play here. So, and also, I feel... Edict is not on right now, because Anemone did not flip yeah. any any courtiers. So, Anemone does not defend. Yojin no Shirog is activated, so we see 7-0. to zero. Bi If Bill does play charge, it will cost him 2, because Aegis Crone is in this conflict. Bill does not play charge. We see a pass here. So, this is just going to be a for greater glory, I think. We see Miramoto's oh. Fury on Berserker. Now, are we going to see a charge? So City of Lies reduced the Miramoto's Fury down down to zero, but then it still costs one. Yeah, okay, so... So, he plays a Vengeful Oathkeeper into the conflict. Interesting. Maybe he doesn't have a charge. Very unfortunate if he didn't have a charge. Yeah. So we see a Yojimbo in for defense. Maybe maybe he's baiting. This could be a bait, right, where you play, where you play non... You just play non-general first, so you think your opponent can defend. So Master of the Spear, yeah. Master of the Spear kicks the Yojimbo out. Doing work this game. Yeah, so him kicking the Yojimbo almost almost guarantees that he doesn't have charge. Otherwise, he just doesn't care, and he he charges first. We see, ooh, we see Cunning Magistrate here. Cunning Magistrate is gonna make this Master of the Spear blank. So it's three to two. This is really good defense from Anemone here. I don't know. This this feels really weird from Lion where they just don't have any more force. I'm so surprised. Bill has nine cards in his hand and he just doesn't have anything to to do it. He gets, he, he gets uh, double keeper and he gets to what, what did he do with the fi with the firing? Oh, he doesn't get to. It's pilgrimage, duh. Happened. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah Luke, Luke, it's fine, right? But, like, it's just surprising that Bill has drawn 23 cards and doesn't have enough military to break in that conflict. I don't know. So, we see we see uh, Heroi going in at Feast or Famine. We see Bayona defending. So, Bayona is winning right now. Uh, Anemone needs a court games here to be able to, uh, br to be able to force Bill to play a card. Because we know Anemone doesn't have any conflict characters. Or any, um... Any political buffs? Uh, she could pull in a keeper. So we see a first shame dishonoring Bayona. I think Bill's gonna play a court games here. Yep, Bill plays court games. Which suggests to me that Bill is out and ready for battle there. Well, Bill only has two, so so he he's not playing the third one for whatever reason. I'll have Damn. to talk to him later about it. Uh, so the, we do see triple for shame is out now. Yeah, Luke, but if you have, like, a charge there, like, there's no way Scorpion can ever hold. Like, that's the thing. It's just very surprising that he doesn't have one. So, Heroe moves in the Keeper. The way that, yeah, Jimbo is going to break um, anything, uh, unless it goes for Feast of Batman, which seems bad. You um, could, yeah, it's it's tough, right? If you go for Feast of Famine, you take the two off the Magistrate and put it on your Master of the Spear, most likely. What you do. So Bill's just got, Bill's, Bill's just Bill's just running his keeper into uh, into uh, meditations. He just doesn't care. Uh, it really really funny. This keeper cannot be near Moto's Fury because it has two glory, and every province has been revealed. <laughs> Fantastic. So Anemone Anemone loses an honor for not defending. Bill voids off this Yojimbo really strong. So. 
Will will he go for the Feast of Famine pilgrimage based on what he has in his deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke, it's unlikely that he, or it's unlikely for him not to have it, but it is reasonable for him not to have drawn drawn it. I mean, you know, it's still variants. It's just, it's just, I was just surprised. That's all. Point of contention: this not having charge thing, eh? No, no, Bill. Uh, I, I just like, I, I really like uh, interacting with chat in in my streams. So, like, if people say stuff in chat, it's it's really it just adds more more to it. So we see an Amini going after pilgrimage here. Interesting. D oh, she has adaptive shadows in her hand. Oh, nice. but she passes. Interesting. I would have said maybe a misclick, but it's actually like really hard to misclick through passing a conflict opportunity because the client okay. literally asks you, "Are you sure you want to pass your conflict opportunity?" And so we see everyone clear off here. Anemone's at four honor right now, but going to be really hard to be dishonored via the Scorpion Stronghold. Bill Mulligan's both generals. Bill has a huge fate advantage here. And he's actually up on cards. He's up one card. And we see a Toturi, a, Ma a Bayona duplicate, a Staging Ground. Oh, a Staging Ground is sick here. And he sees a Steadfast Samurai, which lets him... Which, so, so Anemone buys Shouju. She's going to go for yeah. the break here. Uh, Shouju is immune to Fury right now. In the first pass do you buy Tatori? buying Tatori is rough um it, spending 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 uh influence into or spending fate into Tatori when your opponent is can grab a fate and then have fate worse than death with city of lies up or just wave the scorpion right the fact that he has three glory is really really awkward let's pass from an, en an enemy or maybe not you gotta pass it. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know, Woodwin. Uh, I, I don't know why, why we didn't why we didn't get an attack. Uh, your your guess is as good as mine. Oh, and we see a brawler. We see a brawler and a spirit caller. Takes a Kaido to Tori straight off the table. Uh, for much yeah, much. that was a really insane staging grounds. So here we here we see the lion high roll. Yep, and we buy two and two. Welcome to the game. I'm... What uh, what can be spirit caller? Oh, we have generals. We have generals to spirit caller. Cracking uh, spirit calling ta um, targets in the, the discard pile there. Yeah, flying zergling says staging ground. Activate lion win condition. <laughs> okay, so Bill uh, bids three. He's looking for more cards. He's not happy with what he has. That takes him to on <laughs> Paris. Soldier enemy. says, "Welcome to Pride Rock." Lion King reference there. <laughs> and alright, so we're going to see Shoju going in on Pilgrimage. Shoju's going to attempt the break here. Um, it's going to be really hard to hold this for if if Bill even attempts to defend. I don't I don't think you defend this. I think you go for two breaks. And then you just go all in as first. Yeah, yeah. so if you can get two breaks this turn as Lion, on the next turn you go first with a Brawler and, and a Spirit Caller and, uh, and, and a General in your graveyard. Uh, uh, contesting the Water has... Ring. So the problem with defending this is uh, Shoju will just kill literally anything. So... Anemone has not played Away of the Scorpion yet, and has not played a Court Games yet either. So, there's just so many ways for Shoju to kill your characters. And yep, Bill doesn't defend, he, he just, he's just like, can't do it. Uh, bid-wise, it looks like Bill bid, Bill bid 3 and Anemone bid 1. Okay, so that's where the Honor Swing came in from. And actually turned off the Scorpion Stronghold this turn. It did, and Ready for Battle gets discarded. That is quite unfortunate, actually, for Bill. So City of Lies comes out here. This almost signifies uh, first action fate worse than death on Lion's Pride Brawler. Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry. Ready for the battle is not discarded. It oh, it's used uh, for the water ring. Okay, that's good. Um, okay. <laughs> so that cancels out the ring, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh Shane, Shane points out, yeah, we, we caught it. I, I, I'm... If an enemy is not packing a fate worse than death here, then this is a... Well, she's already activated City of Lies, so I can't imagine that that it's not going to come out here. We'll just see it come out on the Brawler. Yeah. Could be the third charge for Unico as well. Um, well yeah, also. we could see third charge for Unico. That would be that would be strong. 
Bill does, keeps the Keeper and the Steadfast Samurai back. We're going to see... Anemone cannot break the Stronghold with uh, just a Cunning Magistrate. She has no military buffs, and it'll be 7 Strength Stronghold. So Bill does not need to defend. Yep, there's Fate Worse than Death. Not surprised. Mm, guess that was expected. A very good shout to go for the boy doing there. Get this. This one off without using the Spirit Caller. I think he's in a... So there's Charge Toturi. Okay. So so th we have not seen it for Greater Glory either, and I think Bill is on 3, because that is the... Yeah, that that's the line card. So here's the charge. Charge Toturi. No Oh, Anemone has nothing else! So she's he's, he can double he voids off Shoju. Oh my goodness. Oh my uh, But we didn't see we do not see it for greater glory. No for greater glory. Holy crap. If Bill played for greater glory there, I think Bill win I think Bill wins on the spot. Oh oh shame points out no fate no fate for, for greater glory. That is unfortunate. Alright. So Anemone here can go for Earth probably. I think Earth is reasonable. You don't want to go for Fire because Bill can just defend then, and use Keeper of Fire. Yeah, we see. Well, okay, so air, air is reasonable too. You get the Fate, and you get an Air Conflict. So Bill just defends because he doesn't want unopposed. Bill can break Meditations with a Keeper and an Honor General. Luke says no Fate, no Glory. Yeah, have to agree. Bill just doesn't. Def I, I think if I'm Bill, I don't defend. Worst case scenario, I can pull put my I can put my general in with my spirit caller. Uh, mittens. I think pulling. I think general is actually better than Toturi for spirit caller most of the time. Uh, when you're when you're doing big attacks. General also has better synergy with um lion's pride brawler. Bill's thinking. Bill has not chosen any defenders yet, so he's in choose defenders time right now. Thing, Bill. This the only thing an enemy can do is drop the two class conflict character, which doesn't even. Yeah, there's just no way. Um, I would say that staging ground this turn has put Bill into a significant. That's a very powerful, powerful swing there. So, oh. Bill does ben. defend. Maybe he just doesn't want to take the unopposed. Bill passes. That's fair enough. So, Anemone just takes the win. So, yeah, instead of, instead of Bill going into three honor, he goes down to four. Uh, I think that, that way the line has been played, Schmooze. The one that was revealed. Yeah, so that, that, one was played a, that one was played the turn that it was revealed from the Meek Informant. So, we shall see if Bill has any other ones. I can break here. This second break. You can break. You can break. Um, your favor plus plus the. You can break on on on. Yeah. So favor plus honor general is five exactly. Well, but if an enemy has way of the scorpion, then that is. Sure. Sure. Right. Like I mean, but Bill could have a court games. Let's see. This is tense. He needs to get so, the break. Court games. He doesn't. I don't think he needs to get the break. The double. The vo voiding off shows you brought uh, took a lot of pressure off of him. Point. Yeah, his board is still going to be really strong. He has Bayona, Spirit Caller, and Bra Brawler staying around. So here comes the General. General is out. So up to four. I I, I don't know if you. I oh, don't think. So I don't think you Spirit Caller here. Interesting. He Spirit. He, I think he Spirit Caller for the honor. I think you Spirit Caller for the honor. If anything, uh, because you have the second one. Yeah, no, no problem, Schmooze. It's uh, it's it's no big deal. That's why that's why I, I got I got the cast for you. So, we're on. So Bill's gonna be first here. Flips a second brawler. Oh, this is such a good flop for Bill. He flips three three characters, th oh, all bushy, goodness. and then second Toturi for another charge if he has one. Oh, that's two cheap characters and a brawler. Yeah, 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 we're gonna see it for greater glory set up here. But, um, Anemone does have... 
An enemy, an enemy does have a courtier for a forged edict. An enemy really needs to find Kachiko at this point. Hey chat, um, question based on, so if, if I break a province and I for greater glory, and my opponent cancels it, do I have the potential to play another for greater glory? Or is it only a one-time reaction? Hopefully someone in chat can answer that question, as I, I have never played Lion. Soldier, okay, so yes, so you can you can play multiple for greater glories off a single break if uh, if one gets cancelled. Max one per conflict on the card. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Well, see, all right. So I got two people in chat lying to me, and then Lu Luke Luke uh, telling me no. Okay. Get the game out, son. Have a word of yourself, chat. Yeah. All right. So chat. Yeah, chat's figuring it out here. <laughs> Max one per. Okay, I was on, I did I had never seen it max one per. I guess that's actually that actually makes sense, right? That way otherwise Lion would just be spamming it on one break. Uh, I think there's a very real possibility <laughs> we're going to see we're going to see one get Well, we're definitely going to see one, but we could see an edict is the problem. Yeah. We could very like. easily see an edict. <laughs> All is coming in there. Invitations now the safest and fluffy. Problem. Bill's just gonna bow out both both of both of the characters, or bow, you you bow the magistrate for sure. Significant hand lead on anemone as well, um, which is a really bad position to be in against Lion. City Lies reduces the cost of the next event by one. We could see another Fate Worse Than Death here. And we, well, see, we, could see a, we could see a Fury on this Berserker. Waiting to use his Stronghold. Bill bows uh, Cunning Magistrate, probably with the Dishonored Brawler, because it has, uh, it has just two. If you're built, do you just pass here? No, you're not I mean, breaking. if I'm breaking, I pass. Absolutely, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna see an attempted for greater glory. We're gonna see a forge edict. We're not. Great. How? How? That's so unfortunate for Anemone. She's drawn twenty five cards and only seen one edict. That is very unfortunate. Uh, I so she uses she uses the city of lies in order to reduce the cost of the next event. Well, so she, would... she so she so she she uses it just because it's gonna break. Um, so oh, know. never mind. Soldier points out that there has been two edicts been played. One got discarded by the Earth Ring. Right. Okay. Well, that's less. That's less fortunate then. Okay. So and we see keepers coming out here. So Anemone needs a conflict character here. Hopefully, Kachiko is the only way she's going to break. There's no way that Kachiko can can break ancestral lands. That's so hard. And we're going to see a stronghold attack here. It is very so. Bill has used his military attack, so Bill can just poke here. I think it's is it rally to the cause. It's, it is entrenched position. Now, people think that uh, entrenched position will save them, but against most clans under military, maybe against Lion, not really. Lion can generate so much military force. Okay, do you just you just go digging for the honor general, and then yeah, this this ten. forces this forces Anemone to play a character here. Uh, Bill has play. Uh, so, Victoria. Bill has six send homes. Luke, he has two master of the spears are in his graveyard, and both his routes are in the graveyard. We could see a uh, strength in numbers. If if Kachiko gets played into the conflict, we could see strength in numbers. We saw assassinate on a keeper. So, you can pull. If you pull general here, you're still breaking. And then if Kachiko gets played, you can uh, strength in numbers her. So Bill would need exactly strength in numbers, and he needs to pull his general here to have three. Three. Yep. And so we see the general get pulled. So breaking right now, steals. Bill's gonna pass because he's winning. The, are we? Are we gonna? Are we gonna see? The, are we gonna see the win here? And I do have to say that Lions flops were excellent this this turn. Mono no aware, cowering. Ah. Countering that that uh, for greater glory. If Bill doesn't win this turn, he he could actually be in trouble. Wow, that is a strong mono no Awari play. Yeah, that it hit, it hit all the for greater glory characters and hit the spirit caller. 
We see Kachiko yeah. strength in numbers. Do we have it? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's a Bill needs two strength in numbers because there's a favorable ground. She does have to play Kachiko with no fate here, so that is a big deal. Oh, she missequenced this. She missequenced this. If a Nemini plays Mono, Mono no I needed to be played first because she had City of Lies activation. The assassination burned that City of Lies activation. Yeah, no, no, that's if it. she sequences it mono into assassination, she then can play Kachiko with one fate. Bill does yeah, not no. have the strength in numbers, or if he does, he chooses not to play it because there's a favorable ground in play. And so uh, Kachiko wins, and now we see the board even out. Bill has a slight fate lead, and he still has a good hand lead. Bill has um, a big, uh, big has a, Bill has a huge hand advantage, and he has uh, a big fate advantage. Uh, uh, even though it was missy. No, Joe. If you, if you, um, I think, I think if you, if you play Kachiko with Fate, you lose because your opponent gets four, four characters hanging around. There's just no way you can win. You have, you have double, you get double brawler, you have double brawler hanging. You have a spirit color hanging around. There's just like no way. And we see another spirit color from Lion with a staging ground. Oh, staging ground's huge here. Mono no Ware was absolutely the right play there. It was super clutch. I mean, it turned a guaranteed loss. Well, the, the, a... so the problem the problem for Scorpion against uh, Ancestral Lands here is Scorpion has no buffs. Like, Scorpion just doesn't have buffs to, to break a 12-strength province if Lion commits enough defense. There's just no way. So we're going to see we're gonna see Samurai and Guard here bought. We're going to see the staging ground flip. No, Zergling, we know we know that we know that strength or we know that that uh, Anemone doesn't have a Forge Edict, or she would have Forge Edicted the For Greater Glory, I assume, or maybe not. Maybe if you have the mono, you don't care. I don't know. So Staging Ground flips the third Keeper and a Spirit Caller. So the Lion High Roll stops here. You definitely get the Spirit Caller at this point, right? No, Soldier Token, if I have Mono no Ori, I absolutely don't forge Edict the Forgery Glory. Mono no Ori just straight up ca straight up counters that. And draws me a card. Yeah, big fate, big fate swing there. So, Bill has a lot of cards. We see, we see Spirit Caller 3 here. Stronghold. Both players uh, bid 1. It turns off her Yego Outcast, so she probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, she probably should have bid... She probably should have been two, and then after the attack, stolen with the stronghold. Biz. Bill needs to hold this turn. I actually think I actually think I would have used my manipulators to go up, to go up to three probably, and then I could have stolen and still been up on, still been down on honor, or at least go up to two for your outcast. So Bill has a favorable ground here, which could help against a potential um, unassuming of Jimbo. So Anemone's just gonna do a poke attack here. Political what? Political water maybe? You can political water to bow to bow one of Bill's characters. Tough one, yeah. Water probably the best shout. No wait, why are we seeing the outcast is off? The outcast is on right now. She's down one honor. You're saying Bill should have been more? So we see a Miramoto's Fury coming out here, which is the first the first one Bill has played. Bill Bill could have a uh, Bill could have all his Lekos in his hand, which would be a reason he, his hand has felt so bloated. Is there a way an enemy can break here? I just can't. I mean, even with the Yajimbo there. I think Bill, Bill just didn't want the water ring to go off because he doesn't have any more ready for battles. And okay, we're going to spirit call him to Tori, I imagine. No, uh, honor, honor, General, honor General is more force. Honor General is 5, 6, 7 on his own. He provides, of course. Honor General uh, also is better against uh, dishonor effects. Tori goes down to 3, Honor General goes down to 3 also, but then Honor General also um, still provides his buff. And that's exactly why Bill's hands go so bloated. So we see a policy debate between, let's see, 
Yeah, all three light goes. Not surprised. So that's why... So we see... Bill could play Assassination here. He does bring Toturi, though. Oh, Way of the Lion. That makes okay. sense. W Way of the Lion is, is an argument for... So Bill does have a strength in numbers. He has a charge. He could charge the Keeper. He no longer has the Bonsai. So, the relevant cards in this conflict. Assassination, Way of the Lion, strength in numbers. Assassination is going to take him out of the game, so he can't currently assassinate. Well, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could um, he could have first actioned it, and that would have made Anemone not be more honorable, so he couldn't have... He has used the staging ground Zergling. He flipped Keeper and Favorable Ground. So the Lion High Roll ended. Yep, Fate Worse Than Death. Brutal. He, he, Bill will get triple keeper here. Anemone does need to win this conflict, but she can't. She doesn't have any more buffs. She has no more fate. We're going to see... Yep, guard honors. And now we see triple keeper show up. So this this is a good turn for... Bill's going to get first turn with the spirit caller. Bill uses the firing to re-honor Toturi so he doesn't lose an honor. And these keepers plus favor just are going to are gonna hold hold the ground here. Oh, oh no no he was fate worse than death. Um, based on how the uh, the reactions to to uh, the ring claim work, you can use the ring trigger, react with your keepers, and then react. No, to Tori? so keepers react to react to claiming the ring. You claim and resolve in the same step. The reason so you can do it with Toturi. If you so if you double resolve firing, Toturi is also a reaction. So after you resolve the first ring effect and claim it, you then bring your keepers out. You can then trigger Toturi's action to honor a keeper. That's exactly what I just asked. Yeah. So just I just didn't need to know if you could do that. But okay. Yep. So that's, yeah. yeah. Yes. If you don't have any other characters, you can honor Toturi and then honor a keeper. All right. So Bill defends. Okay. So Bill is going to go for Earth most likely here. Political Earth. Yep, political earth. I think Lion has this. I I think Lion's gonna win win on, on their on their first attack next turn. That all three fate worse than death. That is all three fate worse than death. Yeah. We see a calling in favors get discarded, which is irrelevant. Bill has not Bill has not played uh, any relevant cards. Bill's hand is not very good. Bill might have nine cards, but realistically he has like two. He does. He needs he needs a clutch flip at this point. <laughs> exactly like he's been getting all game. Oh, okay, okay. The chat is correcting me here, and resolving the ring happens before claiming, but both happen before effects or reactions. Okay, so Bill flip. Bill gets rid of the staging ground here. He doesn't have this face stockpile, and the third we see Ujiaki Brawler. Boom. Oh, okay, this is this is this is it. This is game. We're just gonna see. We're gonna see Ujiaki and, and Brawler get bought bought here. Yep. That should be that. And then when he says GG, and yeah, absolutely. Ujiaki plus Brawler here. There's no way you could ever defend, especially with a Spirit Caller also. Overwhelming power. That is so. Lion right there. Hi yeah, I mean, Bill Bill got his Bill got his, his high rolls when he needed it. The the Brawlers came when they needed it. The Spirit Callers came when he needed it. Um, the Staging Ground, like, I mean, that is one way to do it example of just endlessly forcing your like might upon an uh, upon a scorpion opponent and just getting them to burn through all of their gas yeah you just you just make them burn cars and you you like once they get low on honor like you your your characters are just stronger yeah that's very really good and uh um viewers at home that's a, a one of that yuyaki there so yeah <laughs> tenorum it is down to four it doesn't matter though you can't you, you you won't lose you just don't activate your storehouse Well, Luke, Luke, it, it's it's not high roll this turn, but it is high roll like the previous, like in like on like turns three, on like turns three or four, where he hit the brawler and the spirit caller when he needed to. The staging ground hit both. I mean, it is really nice. That's great. So Bill continues his uh, his, his, his scorpion rampage. <laughs> Bill the scorpion slayer. Oh yeah, absolutely, Luke. I'm I'm not I'm not taking anything away from the game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm not saying that Bill got lucky and that's the only reason he won. I'm just saying that that Lion Lion's dynasty flops are such an integral part of their game plan that when when they like we've seen Lion games where they hit bad flop after bad flop and they got crushed, right? The fact that so I think I think 
I think Lion actually has a stronger game against this style of deck because um, they the Mono no Aurora deck takes a long enough time to kill you that you see so many flops that you will eventually see your good flops. I think what's pretty great here as well is that Bill's deck is not running uh, any kind of counter spell or you know anything like that. Well, I mean, he... I mean, Ly Ly Lion to be fair doesn't like. I've seen some lists run Censure, but I personally don't like it. Um, it's more the fact that like he could be this sort of like devil deck or this sort of you know this notoriously nasty deck with uh with none of the things that people are saying. Oh, you know, you need to beat it. Just good old fashioned endlessly efficient dynasty characters. <laughs> And Desire bringing him up on the two ready for battle there. <laughs> Bill immediately hits me with, I know it's bad. This it is, is bad. Though. This is why I love Bill. Bill is one of my favorite people in the community to interact with. He's just, he's just a really, he's a really nice player. And uh, he was, Bill and Luke were actually, so when I first joined this community, Bill and Luke were actually in my, my, uh, my group. And I didn't know either of them. And I had a really, I had a really, a really fun time. I did it way back when Crab was everywhere since it's dead versus them and never updated because I am bad. That is reasonable. Like, it is, it, it, that is a fair point. It's just going to hurt him in his cup run here because he's playing nothing but scorpions, it looks like. Is against the scorpion for sure. Uh, yeah. I think so. So I think it's the scorpion mirror above him. Yep, scorpion mirror yeah. above him. If, if, uh, if Onyx. Um... No, or Oryx has already lost to Shiba, Sh Shiba Inu, I think so. Um, I I I remember seeing seeing that message in one of my chats that uh, that Shiba Inu did defeat Oryx Wild. Um, it was just not casted. So yeah, actually, if Bill can beat if Bill can beat Widwin or no Widwin no Bill's playing Widwin. Bill is playing Widwin because we, we we know I, I casted that game yesterday. So Bill if Bill can beat Widwin, he will be able to um, those ready for battles won't be as as lacking. Uh, he'll be able to play against potentially Phoenix. Crane or yourself. I really hope I get that far. That'd be <laughs> awesome. That. Yeah, that'd be sick. But we'll see. D D I've got Daijoji Mika um, on Saturday, and from what I understand, he's a very highly rated. Yellow yeah, player. Mika's very strong. He's a strong player. Uh, I watched the video of him versus Jeremy. He seemed, he seemed like a very prescient player. He seemed to be thinking two or three turns ahead, or well, maybe one or two turns. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah. That sort of style of play. Having said that, I'm not uncompetent about that matchup, so we'll see how. I think, I think, I think, I think Crane versus uh, Crab. I think, I think actually Crab has is favored in a longer game. Um, I think, I think being untimed is actually a pretty big advantage. Uh, where you can, you just have to weather the early plays. And uh, I know Shooter Ev and I were talking about it, and. Dep it, it, the matchup feels really high variance based on Crab's opening opening hand and opening flop. If you can, if you just get like a really sick turn going, it's just so hard for Crane to come back because all your characters never die. Sticky board, and you know you start getting a bit of a presence. Um, it really does sort of tend to slip away from the Crane as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. But but they do know. they do have some plays. Noble Sacrifice is really strong in the matchup. Uh, Voice of I Honor is, is obviously very strong, and then. Um, it's really hard to get political attacks against the crane, the crane players because of the uh, the crane stronghold. The classic stuff like three policy debates and three let goes as well. He's actually skimped on a Miramoto's Fury to go up to the third let go, uh, which is I can see that's uh, pretty good. You know, it's pretty uh, pretty good medical, especially if you're facing crab going forward. All right, well that's gonna do it for the stream. I will um, be back in an hour to bring you guys Suke versus Fro. Uh, so we'll have Crane versus Scorpion, uh, and then it looks like it looks like in the chat here we see Yamaneko is going to be playing his match against JD Sauce. Uh, it is a Scorpion Mirror, and I just don't have the time to cast that one into Sir Largeness's game. Uh, it looks like Toriadori is saying that he can cast that game. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have a cast of that game. Awesome. All right, well, I will catch you guys in an hour. Uh, thanks again, Johnny, for casting. If uh, if I need a co-caster, I'll hit you up for that game too. Hey, thanks, buddy. All right, take care, everyone.